life stealer bombs coming later. You've got plenty of strong mid game tools. That bottom lane. Wrap around from Black. We'll play from XY to set it up. XY could be in trouble though, it's mind control. They're gonna find a kill in return and with the skewer slow, he should do so. One more touch will do it. No, the stick charges keep XY alive. And in fact, he's gonna be able to roll himself away into the hands though of GH. GH looking to finish off the kill. He's gonna try for the deny. It's not gonna work, XY, so they will get him in the end. And Miracle got a kill on the Crystal Maiden. Miracle TP'd in, ignored what was going on to the north, found the CM kill, so. Two support kills in return. Uh, good response from Liquid punishing the dive, and all it was was for a disruptor. So, well, it's nice for Black to get that kill for. It doesn't really amount to a, a huge gain or win for Faceless. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Jabs continuing to try and force the pressure in. Kuro's there to pick up the levels. Straight travels, no bail, kind of suggesting more late game play. And also just wanting that global ganking option, but Veil's one of those items where if you're gonna. If you're thinking you're gonna win early mid, you go for it, but... Bottom lane, Mind Control and Miracle coming in, looking for nuts for the rotation from Black and X Y in response. Looking to find something in... And then, in fact, they're gonna get Miracle by Lozu and no, the Stomp, the Crush holds him back. Miracle will be fine, Nuts still being chased down. Can Black pick up the kill in return? Mind Control has the skewer. Are they gonna be able to hit a smash or such? They've got the smash back available, he'll try for the shot, but Mind Control... Just to get himself out. Black continuing to try and close, goes for a pounce, would make it so a mind hard. control, yeah, getting himself back to safety. And of course, as we saw earlier, Miracle also escaping what looked like a potential for Faceless to turn it down. Break some of those illusions, but uh, still had a very successful early game here on the end, but he is level eight, so this is where you'd hope for Jabs to perhaps get active in the side lane, but I think Jabs is telling his team, I'm waiting for a good rune. This is where rune control can be very important. A haste or an invis, haste particularly on an ember spirit, can open around the map. He doesn't leave this lane knowing that there's a Naga free farming. If you start playing too gank heavy, Naga's going to pull ahead on farm and never look back. So Jabs has prioritized his own farm over rotating so far, but potentially can change with a key rune, potentially will change with the boots of travel. But now there's just nothing Faces can do to contest the Naga's farm in that jungle and in that mid lane. Another rotation here from Faces as they group up. He's going to be able to find Miracle. And let's see if he can get himself away this time. And it doesn't look like he can with the stun control that Faces have. This time they'll be able to finish Miracle's rotation. Yep. Still a lot of space being made by Miracle and he's still got sick items despite like how active and present he's been in that kind of dire area that just the rain drops the tranquil. He hasn't started towards his blink, but we're going to read where he'll be given a lane. Matu may head to the jungle. Slada can take over that safe lane, perhaps around that armlet timing, so not the easiest lane to take over. Dealing with an Ab Abaddon is pretty miserable, but we're seeing Faceless basically take the approach that they're going to fight the Naga Siren Greed with mostly their own oh, Greed. Oh, this... I mean, I was seeing when Mind Control was... Yeah, there was smoke up, obviously, from Faceless in that mid lane. Mind Control, yeah. he has up... He's picked up an Invis rune as well. That's a I mean, if he if nice he comes here have. for the counter play, but it looks like Miracle's actually going to meet the play head on as the smoke straight into the Slada. They'll get Miracle. Yeah, Second time in quick succession, pretty Still much. Screwing the tower. Can he do something big? He's going to go straight for Jab. Oh, oh no! My I mean, on the plus, it, no, he's going to get out. There's no, what? Okay. You got, you got glimpse. They did get glimpse. A little weird because he was standing yeah, still. Yeah, like, hang on. Yeah. He got glimpse. He got <laughs> glimpse on spot. Yeah. <laughs> I was the, like, the hang on. The... <laughs> TP? <Like that. laughs> TP low. But there What's we are. They got it. They got the kill on the lesson. In fact, top lane as well. But to my man, oh, hang is... up and X was on the side. He needs an infest. Oh, there oh, we have it. Oh, that was barely in time. That X Y tried to silence him. So close. And when to my man survives and. Of course, he's yeah, it's uh, not the nicest of lanes to farm him, but he's still hitting the creeps and he's getting the solo XP up there. Yep. So I don't think Matuma Man will be too annoyed with how this landing stage has gone. Should feel pretty good. Yeah, bad and one of the more annoying off lanes to deal with. You just can't zone him with like two heroes most of the time and Miracle moving around the map on the bottom side of the map in the enemy jungle. So it's kind of stable. This is a stage of the game where I feel like Liquid might try and prioritize that Slada blink a bit more. Alternatively, they may just be like, hey, who cares about Slada's blink timing? We've got a Naga free farming. Let's just have Miracle keep running at them. We can get a 20 minute blink and we don't care. But uh, you need to be able to en enable your lifesteal. And I feel like yeah. 
one of the blink daggers. So if not the slaughter blink, prioritize the Magnus blink. Get a blink online so you can start doing some infest bombs, and then you can create more space for your Naga. Open up the map, take towers. Any towers you take pushes the lanes, gets you access to the enemy jungle, makes it makes there just a lot more resources and farm on the map, and Naga can pull even further ahead. On top lane again, Isis going in onto the map. Miracle is there. They're going to look to turn, but his face is here. But the response is not quick enough, though. They lose the Abaddon. Liquid again. Getting away with these players up top. Matuma now in the killing spree. Oh, that like armlet done as well. He's he's going to get harder and harder to face his opponent. It's a very, very annoying hero to verse the offlane because how tanky he is. And that's like suits Ice Ice Ice. But don't feel like he's played all over Abaddon because he's died now three, four times. It has been a bit of a rough lane for him with these rotations coming in. And Matu getting these kills on him. These add up. These are getting Matu a lot of farm. And Abaddon is still farming. Like Ice 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 is not just dying and getting nothing. Lane. He's getting good farm out of the lane, he's out farming the Magnus, but it's more the fact that he's accelerating Matu's progression. He yeah. has a good ultimate. He's, uh, this man is in a lot of trouble. The TP will come through, but Ice 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 indeed getting chased down. Oh, Duke it after the tree line, and now Matuma Man could be trouble. Yeah. We're going to hunt him down here. And with the burst there of the ultimate, bringing him low, Matuma Man's got to get himself out of range and go off with the armlet toggling. And it looks like he can save him here, Jabs. Yeah. Unable to chase on him, Matuma yeah. Man. Getting away with this play. It looked like he missed the Searing Chain Slight combo there, which is a bit unfortunate. Hard to hit them on a single target in Fog, but something you'd expect Jabs to land and... Faceless. Making room, though. Black wanting this tower, this will get him very close to the Shadow Blade, but needs to really respect the Disruptor ultimate. It looks like the ping's coming, suggests. Faceless are not going to die for this tower. Wait, regroup. They've got vision there with the Warden. They're not going to play around. A really good Radiant Vision here at the bottom tower in the enemy jungle. So they can see the Naga farming. They can also see and protect their Slark in the safe lane and also have vision around the mid lane. Like every kind of key spot currently is warded for them. And it certainly feels like this Naga. I mean, there's something needs to be done more than just watching him as GH is very close to that yeah. Top of the net worth and it's not going to get any better for Faceless if they, they're unable to at this stage. Perhaps just banking on this, the ability to scale themselves. They've got three cores that scale well to the late game. Embers rush the boots to travel, so as mentioned, this is a, a less of a fighting build than the Veil. Vale. The Veil vale is like, you want to fight now, and they really do a ton of damage, but... And they get Miracle. I can't... They know he's likely alone up here. This is the stage of the game where you're like, all right, Liquid are sending their full position to to take the safe lane to get his blink. Let's punish them. Well, if XY could get the connection, which indeed he can, they be able to fire this one. Miracle has one crush to hold them, but here we have the follow through from Jabs. And again, they will find the kill. Yep. And it'll turn into this tier one push as well, especially with that turning up as well in the neighborhood. Very. Getting closer and closer to Shadow Blade. Good call from Black. Get out of that safe lane. Your team are making an aggressive move up top. Bottom lane is not safe for you. You're going to get more farm in your jungle. Even go for that game, for that tower. He doesn't. His team doesn't need him, so he's in the jungle. They get the tower. It will come up very fast as a result. It does feel like for Liquid, they've been some restricted in their options because these blinks have come out fairly slow. They're going to have one now on the Magnus with that tower. It's not terrible timing, 15 minute blink dagger. But Lifestealer hasn't been able to get kills outside of the lane. Like, he's been able to kill Ice 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 through some great individual play using just the early phase boots movement speed, but hasn't been able to actually go for any, any infest bots. He hasn't had an infest target until a blink online, and that's going to only happen now. So, we'll see if Matu can get oh. active in the other lanes. Oh, he, Matu's just oh, seen himself yeah, a crystal. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here, little lady. The ice 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 is there to protect him. No, sir. Get away from my maiden. But Tuma Man does not listen. <laughs> Down into the creepy goes for the free ride back home. Well, can they deny them? Gotta be careful though, FL. Liquid, have mind control with that blink and RP. Where's Matuma Man? He's is he already way out. He's already out. Okay. Oh no. Oh, he took control and in fact, whoa, there we go with the turnaround. Straight in onto XY, XY. We'll be protected. Rage is down. Gotta be careful. Miracle is well ready for the fight. Black with the Shadow Blade looking to try and lead it onto one of the backliners. We'll go for the easier kills. Look towards Corrupt. Takes down the Disruptor, but the Static Storm's there into the crush. They're managing to control Black here, bringing him down low. Again, he's still got the Shadow Dance, continuing to fight. The Sun's there to stop it all, though. That was going to be a big DM ultimate. Luckily, the song is up, otherwise, it's a good job. Gone bad yeah. for them. GH turning up there pretty much Ooh. saved that from being an absolute disaster yeah. for Liquid. That CM ult was going to clean up, and Machu really pushing his hero limits there. Getting a lot of damage done, wasting a lot of spells, and did a really good job infesting in his creep, and his team completely left him. Like the Slatter sprinting away, the Magnus is blinking out of there. Either of those heroes gets caught, 
in a Searing Chains or in a Boulder Smash from that Earth Spirit, it's very bad because the only way they can save, like, and kind of keep Matu protected while infested is by having those heroes alive. And well, things will, will settle down now. GH may not be involved in too many kills, but or doing much damage, but that is indeed your job as an Naga Siren. Oh, absolutely. Mid lane. Bomb Smash will connect onto Matuma Mana with the chains, bringing him down low. That's that arm there. And of course, full backup from Liquid. Mind Control still with the RP. If Faces are going to want to try and come forward with this, Black. Potentially waiting for to go for a counter initiation if Liquid do for some sort of a jump. As he hides there at the Shadow Blade. Mind Control letting himself be heard. And let's see, will alert Faces to his presence. Just trying to, to stop this pressure coming out. And it is just creating more and more space for GH. And like I said, like, as, even though they're going for these occasional moves, these smoke rotations, the overall big picture game plan is to go greed if you're faceless. You've got the boots of travel rush on Ember, the Radiance Midas from your Baden. Slack is probably one of the heroes that maybe doesn't power farm, but can still play. Like, you're still going to scale well into the late game and just like look for pickoffs on supports, look to just jungle up with Dark Pack. So we're going to see a farm game out of faceless. Three scaling cores. They're just going to accept the fact that they're going to get a very farm Naga on the outside. Life Seal's a hero that doesn't necessarily scale amazing well the late game. I, I say that hesitantly because he's got Empower and he's got a slider to enable him. For so sure, I think, yeah. Empower is I just... I think he's going to scale all right. Just yeah. even to hear that gets kited, but he does struggle against heroes like Slark, Ember, these mobile cores. Even heroes like Abaddon because he just ultis. Like, you can't actually... None of these cores are good Life Sealer targets. I mean, left control. Hindsight Size does have some backup coming through, but Tumalan will go for the rage and the chase down. And there's the glimpse. The position. Hindsight Size, make sure they get the kill. Nice static storm as well from Kuroki. Yeah. Just to make sure that there's no reaction possible from Faceless. It was looking like a potential turnaround if they don't silence the back lines, but Ember pushing up top. Not going for any kind of a blink up in the back up there, jabs. Gonna go back for the veil now. At least he's queued it up. Interesting single choice. Prioritizing the travels first, but has managed to make some use out of them. Finding those picks around the sides. And we'll see if they, he commits to that. There we go. He's going yep. by the full veil. As it stands, faceless. Able to continue trying to make some moves with this Shadow Blade. I'm just really trying to make the players around this, this area where they have their own sentry. Yeah, he knows it can't be warded because of that. He won't be running into a sentry there, but if he goes any further underneath the tower or above it, he will be running into various sentries that poor Kuro is going to have to continue by this game. He gets the GPM talent. You got it. You got it if you get have it, yeah. I think every, every game. Division, but they'd love to get a core, but you, you take the support kills as well. Ember, oh, oh. Jabs would be a perfect pick here, and there we have straight in with the lead in and the execution. Yep. Liquid get exactly what they came for. Nice, nice quick kill, get out. Easy peasy, and Liquid, oh, well, that's going on. Naga farming. Uh, it's, no surprise it's starting there. to look scary, the climb, you know, already reaching nearly 2k yep. ahead of Black Slark. And at this pace, with this sort of momentum from both sides, that, that gap is certainly only going to increase unless Black can start to get himself involved and find those pickoffs. We saw him earlier, just kind of sit around mid. He's, he's backed up, back to the farm, trying to take what he can from Liquid's half of the jungle so we can have that Echo Saber complete and have a little bit more sustainability in these team fights. Now putting some pressure onto this tier two up top, Faceless. Liquid yet to look for any sort of an answer to it. And in fact, looks like they'll just let this one go to Faceless. It's the vision factor. They want to fight around their wards, not around your opponent's ward. You know that Faceless have taken over your jungle, which means you also know they've gotten wards down. And finding where there's that cliff ward at top is just a recipe for disaster. Slark can easily get into the back lines. Ember can easily find ways to initiate on support, so. Just not a fight you're interested in. It, it's it's a losing battle, even with the pick on the Ember. Ember's got travels. He respawns. He's up there. It's a 5v5. There we have it. Echo Saber. And Faces, they really want to make something happen with this Lark in the action. Yep. Yeah, now they've pushed out that top lane. They're not going to get any more up there. Black's returned, and he's got to be...